very good morning welcome to my class simulation examples um, like simulation of queuing system uh, this is under module number one introduction to simulation part we will see the simulation of a queuing system um, so this simulation of queuing system is one of the example of the simulation queuing system is followed by um, the calling population and uh, number of arrivals and uh, service provided how much service provided and uh, uh, the number of customers waiting in a line so very good example we can say is a post office we can say and this queuing system uh, is one of the uh, most significant uh, um, part uh, we can study in the simulation uh, concept and uh, here this queuing system is described by its calling population which is infinite and the nature of arrivals the service mechanism and the system capacity and the queuing discipline and this is often used in the analysis of queuing models uh, this is a, a, a simple uh, queuing model uh, which i have given for example um, for example in post office post office is a very better a better example for the queuing system and the customers waiting in a line for example here in queuing system if a unit leaves the calling population as it is then uh, they can um, they can eventually served uh, if they are wait, waiting in a waiting line if they are going uh, if they are queued in a waiting line so that uh, they can easily um, get served by the uh, server eventually they will get served so afterwards uh, they can uh, based on the system capacity and queuing discipline everything will be coming under this queuing system so uh, this is what uh, queuing system and in a single channel queue uh, the calling population is infinite uh, if a unit leaves we already discussed in first slide now, if a unit leaves the calling population and joins the waiting line or enters service now there is no change in arrival rate of other units that may need service it, it is eventually will get served uh, arrivals for servers occur one at a time in a random fashion uh, so each service uh, where, which is in a random fashion based on the probability distribution uh, so that this based on this probability distribution they will easily get served once they join the waiting line they are eventually served so the system capacity has no limit meaning any number of units can wait in a line because uh, if unit leaves the uh, calling population which is infinite and any number of units can wait in a waiting line finally units are served in order of their arrival like for, we can say it is a first in first out basis this is by a single sh server or channel and arrivals and services are defined by the distributions of time between the arrivals and distribution of service times respectively and the state of the system the number of units in the system and status of the server busy or idle how we can come to know the state of the system uh, we have to uh, we, we, we have to analyze whether the server is uh, idle or uh, idle or busy if it is idle then the queue is uh, going to wait uh, to get the um, a service from the server and otherwise if it is um, busy then it is going to wait in a waiting line to get serviced so if it is going to wait in a waiting line it is eventually will get served because it is a random one and based on the probability distribution only so an even a set of circumstances that cause an instantaneous change in the state of the system and uh, there are only two possible one thing a single channel queuing system uh, based formulas we can see here uh, for example <clears throat> uh, how we are going to calculate this uh, uh, th this thing is in queuing system for example if uh, the customer is in uh, based on the inter arrival time and the service time for example if the customer is arriving at the time of 150 150 mm or uh, some example and service time service time is given for 250 so you make sure that you can just add 150 plus 250 how much the, 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 that is a simulation uh, outcome or simulation result but it is very difficult to interpret so that uh, we can uh, go for these formulas time customer wait in a queue is equal to time service begin minus arrival time if you want to know the time customer waiting in a queue uh, how, when he is going to wait in a queue in the sense if a unit leaves uh, if, if a unit leaves the calling population which is infinite then you are going to calculate the time customer waiting in a waiting line uh, so uh, how, what is the formula for this time service begin minus arrival time and so uh, time service end so the, uh, for this how we are going to find out the service end time service time plus uh, service begin time so this is the 
formula and time service how much uh, the customer spend in the system uh, so service n minus arrival time if you calculate this then you will be getting the ta uh, time of the customer spend in the system next idle time of the server uh, time service begin minus time service end uh, that is uh, n, n minus n minus 1 so this is the idle time of the server based on these formulas we can uh, solve uh, problematically in the uh, next sessions now we will see the average waiting time that is a customer waiting time uh, is equal to total time customer waiting in a queue by total number of customers and probability we already saw this this is a random way a random fashion uh, based on the probability distribution it is eventually served so probability in the sense uh, the customer waiting time a uh, number of customer who is waiting divided by total number of customers and probability of idle uh, server that is uh, total idle time of the server divided by total runtime of the simulation now average service time so total service time divided by total number of customers and average time between the arrival sum of all times between the arrival divided by number of arrivals minus one average waiting time those who wait in queue is equal to total time customer wait in a queue divided by total number of customers who wait and average time customers spend in the system total time customers spend in the system divided by total number of customers so based on these formulas we are going to solve the um, uh, waiting time of the customer and um, service idle uh, that, that means server uh, idle uh, if the server is idle so that we can calculate an average service time of the customers and average time between the arrivals average waiting time those who wait in a wa uh, waiting line and then uh, customer though uh, the, the customer who is going to spend in the system that time that average time everything we are going to calculate based on this formulas and simulation table so in a single channel queuing system inter arrival time and service time are generated from the distribution i mean probability distribution of these random va uh, va uh, random variables for simplicity uh, we can assume the time between the arrivals which is generated by rolling a die five times and recording the up phase so this is one of the um, uh, in, uh, we, we, this is one of the assumption we can uh, analyze for the single channel queuing system and this is the table uh, we can easily find out uh, it can depict the number of customers to the system at the variable clock uh, simulation and it is a virtual image of the event listing uh, in this customer table and the system uh, from check how uh, the, uh, the arrival time of I mean uh, time zero we can say this is the inter arrival time at the clock uh, at the clock time so the customer 2 arrives at clock time 2 and departs at the clock time uh, 3 so there is no customers are uh, going to, uh, from the system from clock time 3 so here uh, during this assumptions uh, these periods of the customers are, are in the system such a uh, check whether uh, their name when both customers arrives so everything will, will be under the assumptions only we can calculate based on the probability distribution also there are times even events occur uh, simultaneously such as like clock time and when customer arrive and customer going to departures so based on this inter arrival time and clock times we can calculate the service times and then uh, average waiting time of the customers and then uh, the customers who is going to wait in a waiting line everything we can calculate Thank you.